Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to install Exchange Cumulative Update 7 on existing installation of Exchange Server 2019. We can upgrade the Exchange Server 2019 to the latest Cumulative Update by installing CU on existing Exchange Server. Because each Cumulative Update is a full installation of Exchange that includes updates and changes from all previous cumulative updates and that's why we don't need to install any previous cumulative updates. In our lab environment, we have existing installation of Exchange Server 2019 CU5 and we want to upgrade to Exchange 2019 CU7. The account that you will use to install the cumulative update requires the membership in the Exchange Organization Management Rule Group. If the cumulative update requires Active Directory schema updates or domain preparation, then the account will likely require additional permissions as well. In this video, I am using the test lab created in VirtualBox. We have existing installation of Exchange 2019 CU5. And for this video, we are using the Active Directory with single domain Active Directory forest name mylab.local. And we have only one domain controller in it with the name ex19-dc01. In case, if you have a standalone server in your environment, then an upgrade will require you to go in for a downtime. And because the services needs to be stopped during the upgrade process, so make sure you have a proper plan for the update process. Before starting the installation, we need to check some requirements first, like check for the Windows updates and install the latest updates on your Windows Server. Restart the server if pending. And last and most important, make sure that you have a tested and working backup of both of the Active Directory and Exchange Server. In case something goes wrong, you can restore the backup to bring back your Exchange online. The first step in getting our organization ready for Exchange 2019 Cumulative Update 7 is to extend the Active Directory schema. And for that, you need to insert Exchange Installation Media. Already I have attached the ISO image of Exchange 2019 Cumulative Update 7 to our virtual machine. As we can verify that, Exchange Server 2019 CU7. And the drive letter is D. Now we need to open a Windows PowerShell Admin. So let's right click on the Start button. Let's click on Windows PowerShell Admin. Let me maximize it. Now we need to go to the installation drive, which is D in our case. First, we need to extend the Active Directory schema. Remember, your accounts needs to be a member of the schema admins and enterprise admin security group. We will use setup.exe commands to extend the Active Directory schema. And already I have typed this commands in Notepad file, so it is going to save us time. So this is the first command which is going to extend the Active Directory schema for us. Let's copy this command and let's go to Windows PowerShell Admin and let's paste here. Fine, now we simply need to press Enter key. As we can see, the Active Directory schema has been successfully extended. In the next step, we need to prepare our Active Directory environment. And for that, we are going to use this same delete. Setup.exe slash I accept action server license terms slash prepare active directory. Let's copy it. Let's go to the Windows PowerShell and paste it here. Now we need to press enter key. Okay, as we can see, the active directory preparation has been completed successfully. Uh, suppose if you have multiple domains in your active directory forest, then you also need to run this same delete as well to prepare all Active Directory domains from your Active Directory forest. In our case, we have only one domain and one domain controller, that's why I'm not going to run that same delete. And suppose if you have multiple Active Directory sites, you need to make sure that replication has been completed successfully before starting the upgrade process. Fine. Now I'm going to minimize this. Let's uh, close Windows PowerShell. And uh, let's double click on Action Installation Directory. Uh, as we have already checked for the latest updates, I'm going to select Do Not Check for Updates right now. Let's click on Next. Uh, before we start the upgradation process, 
uh, one thing let me show you that i forgot to show you earlier uh, this is the existing installation here we can see our server name ex19 hyphen mbx01 uh, mailbox server rule and this is the version information about the existing installation which is version 15.2 build version 595.3 and in exchange uh, management shell already i have run the command get hyphen action server hyphen identity a server name format list name and version and here we can see the information about the existing exchange installation and after upgrading our exchange 2019 again we will check for the admin display version and exchange version information as well fine now let's uh, click on next button to start the upgrade process select i accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next Now here we can see certain errors that setup cannot continue with the upgrade because the PowerShell has open files. So I'm going to close uh, Exchange Management shell. Again, I'm going to click on Retry button. Okay, the error has been resolved successfully. Now we have only one warning that setup can't detect a send connector with an address space of asterisk. Mail flow to the internet may not work properly. Uh, as this is a test tournament, so I haven't created any send connectors on our action server. And that is a warning about it. Now we can start the upgrade process by clicking on install button. As we can see, the process has been started successfully. The installation process will take some time to finish based on the hardware configuration of your action server. And that's why I'm going to pause the video recording. Once the installation process is finished, again, I'll resume the recording. As you can see, the installation process has been completed successfully. Now we need to restart the server. And for that, first I'm going to click on finish to close this console. Uh, let me sign out from uh, Action Admin Center. Let's close Internet Explorer. And let's click on start button. Click on restart. It is going to be application installation. Click on continue. After restart, let's log in to our Exchange 2019. We will use the credential of our domain administrator. Let's access Action Admin Center and for that I am going to click on Internet Explorer. Type URL as HTTPS, call and double slash localhost slash ECP and press enter key to access Action Admin Center web interface. Click on more information and click on go on to the web page. Let's sign in as an administrator with the password. In the Action Admin Center, I'm going to click on servers and let's click on servers tab. Click on our server name which is going to be ex19-mbx01, server rules, mailbox, and under version, we can verify version 15.2, but now we can confirm that build version is changed to 721.2. Earlier, it was 595.3. Uh, let's open Actions Management Shell. Click on Start button, click on Microsoft Actions Server 2019, and click on Actions Management Shell. Let me maximize it. Let me change the font size. Click on properties, click on font, and here I'm going to select 28. Okay, I'm going to run command get hyphen action server. Then we need to specify identity, and then we need to specify the name of our action server. Format list, name, asterisk, version, asterisk. Let's press enter key. And here we can see the build version information about the installed Exchange 2019. EX19 mbx one admin display version is 15.2 with build version 721.2. That is the build version of Cumulative Update 7 for Exchange 2019. In this way, we can install Cumulative Update 7 to update Exchange 2019 installation. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.